Hi, and welcome to Financial Analysis Module 1, Analyzing the Income Statement. In this session, we will walk through the key components of the income statement. We perform a vertical analysis of the statement through ratios. We perform a horizontal analysis using past year's history. And finally, we discuss how to benchmark against other companies within an industry. When using ratio analysis, there are two basic groups, performance ratios and financial leverage ratios. Performance ratios speak to how a company is doing, how profitable is it, and how efficiently is it being run. Financial leverage ratios speak to the financial condition of the company, how liquid and how solvent it is. For this module, we are only focusing on the performance ratios. And when analyzing the income statement, it is the profitability ratios that we pay attention to. Let's look at RIM's balance sheet and calculate some ratios, starting with the total asset turnover ratio. Total asset turnover is calculated by taking sales and dividing them by total assets. If you recall from the income statement of Module 1, sales in 2010 were 14 224 we take this amount and divide it by RIM's total assets, which, if we look at the balance sheet, we see are 10, 204, 409. The result is a total asset turnover of 1.47. This means that RIM generated $1.47 worth of sales for every dollar of assets it had. That concludes this session on the Pyramid of Ratios. The pyramid takes all of the components from the other modules and puts it all together into one model for analyzing a company's financial performance. We hope you enjoyed this module and we look forward to having you join us in your future learning endeavors.